You ever hear the um, phrase, go with the flow? Does that sound familiar? <clears throat> it's actually a really profound teaching, believe it or not. <clears throat> so often people ask, how do I deal with my thoughts? How do I deal with my mind? Do you know? <clears throat> you, could, you could also ask, how do I deal with my feelings? How do I deal with my body sensations? Everything that we experience, <clears throat> whether it's thought, feeling, sensation, energy, comes from the source, originates from the source. What's the source? <laughs> That's that primal, alive movement that's unknowable, and yet that is what we awaken to. <clears throat> and it has a movement, it is a movement, it is like a movement, like waves. <clears throat> and so we learn how to go with the flow. So of course the way to deal with thoughts is not to deal with them is not to fight them, but to find out how to go with them, how to let them move, how to let everything move, <clears throat> feeling, thought, sensation. And when you let everything move, then there's no more you in the way. And that moment or that shift is what we call awakening. And then the awakening is the flow. And more or less you live in that from that perspective. I don't know if you've, I don't know why this is coming up for me recently, but the movie um, a, um, Avatar, uh, that really was, I mean, there was something about that movie that really was right on, that we're all profoundly connected. It's really true. And as we go with the flow, as we get out of the way, as we let what's in the way release, we begin to find the truth of that more and more. And when we're in the flow, it is really freedom. It's the point of life, really, is to, is to live from there. <clears throat> It's hard for us to trust. I could probably just end there. <laughs> Somehow we think belief is going to work that way. But it, belief is not trust. It just isn't. It's an attempt. <laughs> it gets you to the door. But trust is the deep wisdom that you are the flow.
So even when it's difficult and when you've lost the connection or you're in the struggle, something deep within you is okay, knows that it's not permanent. What, what's that wonderful? This too shall pass. And so that grows more and more and more into a deep knowing of the interconnectedness of everything and of the movement of the wisdom of this, of our life. <clears throat> Really what this is a message about is if you're pushing yourself or you're trying really, really, really hard, ease up because it's not in your control. It's not according to your agenda or your beliefs. And as you loosen the grip and as you let go of wanting the security of knowing and being in control, the truth begins to reveal itself, sometimes in little bits and sometimes in giant waves. And that's why humans, for thousands of years really, have found out that just stopping like we did tonight, showing up and sitting, tuning in, getting sensitive, listening, breathing, sensing, can really help facilitate that natural flow of transformation. As long as we don't get caught in doing it and trying to get it, trying to get enlightened and, you know, being the perfect meditator or whatever, yogi. Not that it isn't discovered all the time in every possible walk of life at any moment, which is true, that those awakenings happen when they happen. Coming here can, in a way, resonate that clarity of understanding. Because we are connected. And as you open, as you let go of who you think you are, you begin to feel it. You begin to see it, sense it. Not as a belief, but really as a reality. And you don't have to understand it. It's not about knowing it in, a, in, in an understanding way. So the mind really lets go. No struggle is required. And we don't want to be struggling. 
We don't like it. We really don't. That's why I often say, give yourself permission to let it be how it is right now. It's all being done. We do participate in it. This is where it gets tricky to talk about it. We do participate in, so the question really then is, how do we participate? How do we, what is our contribution in the process, right? And I think it's to be present and open and attentive without holding on to anything, without constricting attention. So it's like you become sunlight that just is radiant by its nature whether they're clouds in the way or not. You know? That you give, that you bring a kind of sunlight to what's happening. <clears throat> so your perception gets much, much bigger than just your thinking mind up here in your head or in your eye, but it it gets much bigger so that you're perceiving with your whole body and your whole heart. You're not just listening in your ears, in your brain, but every cell is listening. Every cell is seeing. And when you, when, you, when you start to shift that way, you'll start to be radiant. Your perception will be more like the sun. And you can just drop out of your mind if you're there. You can drop out of your head if you're there. And you can actually perceive from your whole body, from your heart, from your energy from your breath. Experiment with it. Play with it. I'm not asking you to believe any of this. I'm just more like these are hints. These are suggestions. When I talk about shifting your perspective, that's what I mean. You could also be changing your attitude if, you have a, if you're kind of stuck in your mind in a particular way then it's questioning it and giving, and giving yourself another option. Because you want to loosen it up. So that's, that's how we can participate. We can loosen the whole system up. So it flows more easily. Is that helpful? So of course, awareness of the breath, Breathing into the whole body, breathing energy and aliveness, chi, prana, all those practices are breathing energy into the whole body. Help. Can help greatly, actually. Find out how it is when you just Offer yourself the permission to go with the flow right now. 
you know, he used to say, let it be, but I like go with the flow because it, it really is more, it, it's, there's a movement in it. It isn't a place, sort of, it, it's, it's a, it's just a kind of comfort. It's why we go to the ocean and why we feel so relaxed there. Most people do, you know? There's something so, you can go out to the beach or whatever, and you can be there for hours and go, wow. What, you know, have you had that experience? Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? It's just this waves, flow, constant flow. It speaks to us very deeply. Our body is in constant flow. Think about it. The blood circulating, the oxygen, all the things. It's constant flow. Let it flow. <laughs> then, then you'll enjoy more. Then you can feel or you can sense this kind of growing connectedness, this presence, this what we call transmission of the Dharma. It's really, uh, all it means is that you're waking up to the flow. And eventually you're realizing that that's where you are. Not intellectually, it's just a real deep relief, actually. It's what we call the end of seeking, the end of suffering. Trust means the willingness to not know what's happening. The willingness to not understand. The willingness to allow what's happening. and to deeply know that it's working. How could it not be? So, if you'd like to come up, if you have a question, come on up, honey. Hi, John. Something's Hi. going on. I need you. I know, honey. I can see that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm going to have to make a spectacle. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> 
Good, just that's it. Just put your feet on the ground. Good. That's it. Just let it, just let it be. Let it open. Yeah, just finally letting yourself really be the force you really are. I don't want to. I know. So let it all connect. Let it all connect. That's okay. Beautiful. That's it. That's it. That's, oh, nice. All right. That's it. Beautiful. some water? I think I need to lay down on the floor and get Okay, some let me help you back there. Okay. So, no, just wait a minute. Wait a few minutes. Okay. Just give us a few minutes. Okay. We're not going to rush anything. Okay? Okay. Yeah, just, don't, just know that this opening, this energy moving is nourishing the space here. 
So everyone listening who's deeply listening is going to benefit from this, okay? Okay. And then we'll turn it into something else. Okay. That's it. There we go. Beautiful. What's happening? I like it. <laughs> I know. It's not too much for me. <laughs> we could go a lot further than this. Yeah, well, I don't want to. So. <laughs> You're doing great. You're doing great. I want you to stay here for a while. Okay. We're just going to sit as a group right now. Okay. Okay, that's what's happening right now. Okay. Yeah. Good. Uh, don't say, just, just, I'll stay with you here. Uh, How are you right now? I wish I could sit on the floor. Do you want to sit on the floor? Yeah. Easily. Mm -hmm. That's it. Come on up. Okay. Oh, you want to sit here? Okay, gonna sure, sure. Here for a sec. All right. Do you want a cushion or something? No, I'm good. Okay. Great. <sighs> <sighs> you want some fan? No. Okay. <sighs> yeah. Yes, I've got your eyes open here. <clears throat> Just kind of look at, I'll help you channel the energy if you look at, if you let your eyes open here. See if you can do that. I'll help you with the energy. There you go. Come on. I can't. I can't, hmm? I can't do it. It's okay. Don't push yourself. You want to try in the chair? Might be easier. Yeah, I think you should get back. Let's put you back in the chair. Yeah, I think because it's this is causing too much holding in the energy. I don't know why I'd like you in the chair or lying down. Okay? Yeah, let's get you back up here. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to chair for a few minutes. Oh, I'm so hot. Cool. You can just stand. Okay. Want some heat? Good. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Come on back. Come on back. Come on back. Come on back. That's it. Feet on the ground. Yeah. I really don't want to do this here. Mm. I understand. It's okay. It's fine. Okay. Here, I want you to have some water. Yeah. Here. Do some of this. I'm going to get the fan.
Is that for you? Yeah. Jesus. That feel good? Yeah. Okay. Want some more water? Just let it out. Come on. Let it out. Let it out. That's it. Let it out. Good. That's good. Let it out. Come right here. Come right here. Let it out. Come on. I'm really not comfortable doing this in I know, front of everyone. I know, I know. This is a big one for you. Let it out. There you go. Good. It's perfectly fine. It's as good as happening. It's what you needed. Come on. I mean, I know people that have been here before don't mind, but I just hope I'm not freaking anyone out. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Supporting you, honey. That's good. You're helping everybody, believe it or not. Good. Good. Yeah. I should have said that going with the flow isn't, easy, isn't always easy. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I was sitting back there going, no, no, no. Like this going to flop back there. <laughs> 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 Come on, Jesus. 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 Come Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, it's great. Well designed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you feel good? Oh, I really need to lie down. Okay, okay, I think you're right. Okay. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go take you over there now. Oh, Come on. hold on. Yeah, I'm, I got you. Come on. You made my hair stand up on end, and there's no lot of that. I just want to say how beautiful it was that you could really be here and allow, you know, even if it was brought up something for you or who knows what it may have done. But we're working in a, there's a powerful space here. <clears throat> Excuse me, <clears throat> can be a powerful space, can, can bring up a lot that starts to move and we have to, and we learn how to let it move. That's what I've been talking about. That's what I talk about all the time. So even as a group, when we come together, it's a very, can be a very profoundly supportive environment. So I just want to thank you for your listening and your um, openness. Yeah. <clears throat> 
The truth is we all enlighten each other. And it's not the guru who enlightens you. That's not really right. <clears throat> it's really more that we become so transparent and so reflective that the light that we are awakens the light that we are in each other. It's very cool. I don't know if you remember or knew of um, Trungpa Rinpoche. He, he said something once years ago, which I thought was great. He said, just make sure that, he says, you really want to do this because the bad news is <laughs> that once you start, you've got to finish it. <laughs> and sometimes it's rough. Uh, sometimes it's not what you wanted or expected or the way you wanted it to go. And I, I think he was wrong in one sense, is that I don't even think we decide to do this. I think you are drawn to do it because it is in your nature to find the truth. And we're all here because of that. <clears throat> That's why I'm here. I thought I was going to be a brain surgeon. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and we learn over time deeper and deeper and deeper levels of trust as we become transformed. And the truth is you are becoming transformed, whether you're aware of it right now or not. And even when you're in the midst of your suffering and it's dark and painful, it's very difficult at those times to know that it's working. But it is, actually. And um, it's an honor and a privilege and a joy, actually, for me to be here with you and to share the space and, and the journey together. So thank you for very much for being here. I look forward to seeing you soon. And um, in the meantime, um, find out how to let it guide you and teach you, because the truth is within. So be well and take care and lots of love. <laughs>